Our top story tonight, felony charges against several high-profile officials in Portsmouth. And tonight, it seems like State Senator Louise Lucas is moving forward business as usual. Thanks for staying up with us at 11. I'm Nicole Livas. David has the night off. These charges come after an investigation into the violent demonstrations that ended with a piece of the Confederate monument falling onto a man. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil explains some people are already in custody. Yes, several people named in the arrest warrants came to turn themselves in here to the Portsmouth City Jail shortly after the announcement. Portsmouth NAACP members came out to a small crowd of supporters. Several individuals conspired and organized to destroy the monument. Portsmouth police issued 14 arrest warrants Monday. Each one carrying felony charges following violent protests at the Confederate monument on June 10th. Police Chief Angela Green announced charges for eight people with conspiracy to commit a felony and felony injury to a monument in excess of $1,000. Portsmouth NAACP President James Boyd was charged along with fellow members, State Senator Louise Lucas and school board member Lakeisha Atkinson. This was an injustice um, and again we need to um, stand up and and pay attention. Three local public offenders were charged with felony injury to a monument. Their former colleague, Athea Meese, saw them turn themselves in and receive bonds. Or one of the sheriffs had come out and said that they were going to give everybody who was turning themselves in right now OR bonds. The warrants come on the eve of the special session. Senator Lucas's attorney, Delegate Don Scott, says Lucas was unaware of the charges. It's unusual that uh, folks would learn about uh, warrants through a press conference from the chief of police. We reached out to Lucas, who couldn't provide comment at the time. Scott believes politics are involved. It's a political stunt to weaponize the criminal justice system against black people, which is what they've done in this throughout our history. This comes two months after Chris Green was injured when protesters knocked part of the monument onto his body. Of all the incidents that occurred across our nation, our incident was the only incident that resulted in a man being gravely injured. Boyd wanted to say more about the warrant, but says the NAACP will do that soon. Got more to say, but at this time we want to keep it concise, but do want to encourage our citizens to stand up and pay attention. Yes, Governor Ralph Northam tweeted support for Lucas shortly after the warrants were announced. He called the warrants highly unusual and says he looks forward to seeing Lucas tomorrow in Richmond. Live in Portsmouth, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Tonight, a lot of people are coming out for and against Senator Lucas. Let's first talk about former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe. This afternoon, he called Lucas a trailblazing public servant who isn't afraid to do what she believes is right. Congressman Bobby Scott, who represents several Hampton Road cities, tweeted, Senator Lucas has his respect, gratitude, confidence, and his support. And State Senator Amanda Chase, who represents Chesterfield, called on Lucas to resign. She said in part that Lucas overstepped her authority as a senator, interfered with the work of law enforcement in misstating her authority, and caused real harm to another person. In addition to the officials facing felony charges, Portsmouth police are asking for your help identifying 13 others. Detectives now have warrants for all of these pictures you, people you see here pictured. They are wanted on vandalism charges. In addition to finding these people, police are also asking if you have any videos from that night in June to share them with the department. You can also go through the crime line to stay anonymous.